In British English, a billion used to be a million million, so a one with 12 zeros. While in American English, it has always been a thousand million. That's a one with nine zeros. British English has now adopted the American figure, though, so that a billion equals a thousand million in both varieties of English. The same sort of change has taken place with the meaning of trillion. In British English, a trillion used to mean a million, 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 i.e. one with 18 zeros, which is a million times a million times another million. Nowadays, it's generally held to be equivalent to a million, million, one with 12 zeros, a million times a million, just as it is in American English. We see the same thing happening with quadrillion and quintillion. In British English, a quadrillion used to mean a thousand raised to the power of eight, but it's now taken to be a thousand raised to the power of five, so a one with 15 zeros. A quintillion in British English used to mean a million raised to the power of five, and is now held to a thousand raised to the power of six, a one followed by 18 zeros. Even higher than these are sextillion, septillion, octillion, nonillion, and decillion, some of which are not yet common enough to be included in OxfordDictionaries.com. There are other terms which follow the same pattern, all ending with illion, but they don't refer to precise numbers. Words like jillion, zillion, squillion, gazillion, kazillion, bajillion, and bazillion. All of these words are used informally to refer to an extremely or indefinitely large number. So if some of those aren't tongue twisters, they surely must be mind-bogglers.